Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech and today we are going to compare the brand new Xiaomi Mi watch that we unboxed uh, a while and we have the Lampho Lam 11 also that we unboxed the last month so we have two of our newest uh, smart watches that we have in our channel and we are going to compare them side by side to see the difference which one is worth it to buy or are they both worth to buy and use so we are going to see that all in this video so we have some specification about both of these devices and we are going to go through them just to know uh, the performance of these smart watches and then we begin with some testing and we will see what we have inside of these smart watches so let's begin with the Xiaomi Mi watch in the left we have the Xiaomi Mi watch as you can see it has a 1.78 inch AMOLED screen Snapdragon uh, processor it's swimming uh, waterproof so you can go swim with it 1 gigs of RAM and 8 gigabytes of RAM it has different sensors starting with heart rate per usual geometric sensors ambient light sensors barometer and uh, navigation sports it has sport mode different sport mode that we are going to see a bit later health test and it has NFC and a battery capacity for from 500 and 70 milliamp hour that is typical we have the uh, minimum 517 and 519 that is the professional one which it has the most uh, battery capacity so let's go now to his competition for today the Lampho Lam 11 that we unboxed and review before if you haven't seen videos of these smartwatches uh, unboxing these I highly recommend you to go and watch that we have the videos uh, con unboxing and how to connect with Android or iOS which one do you use you can go and watch it so now with the LAM 11 we know that we have a CPU quad core a storage uh, you can get with 1 gigabytes of RAM or 3 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of RAM it's a nano sim uh, support so it supports uh, 4G and your sim uh, card it has 1.54 uh, uh, inch screen a 2 megapixel camera and a battery starting from 600 milliamp hour in standby mode it will last in about 14 hours and if you put it in the portable charging treasure it will last 19 hours honestly the battery in the LAM 10 and in this LAM 11 it's not that good but if you look at the performance that they have it's worth it you can charge it every day or every two day and trust me it's worth it all the uh, performance and the options are is worth it so we know a bit about both of these devices now so let's go ahead to our first smartwatch that we talked about and let's see what we have here in the software we can see in the first page we have here time date hard the last hard rate steps and burned calories and down we have some shortcuts we are going to test them a bit later up we have notification in the left we have uh, the calendar and this app that is all in Chinese 
in the right side we have I think these are the performance that you did in activities heart rate sport media app weather and that's basically it down as you saw the shortcuts we have here do not disturb airplane mode uh, volume torch vibrate uh, lock screen battery saver and the settings here in the settings as you can see we have uh, the display sound app and notification gesture connective accessibilities general and personalization settings and system here in the end also when you press to the rotation button that we have in the right side we open another page that we can see all the apps that we have here in the Mi Watch as you can see we have call, contacts, messages, burn calories, sports, heart rate uh, this is sleep media file manager, clock stopwatch, timer, torch, sim card, notes, faces, me app, weather, settings and other apps that we uh, don't use because they are all in Chinese maybe someone in China will use them and help us understand better about the Mi Watch so basically the Mi Watch for now it's like a half it's half a smartwatch we can't use them all the options that it has because the Xiaomi decided not to release any update for all English version we have a version that is half in English and half in Chinese so for that we really can't judge the Mi Watch r real good and test it that hard but we can see a bit the difference between these two watches so let's go now to the LAM 11 as you can see in the first page we have here date and the time that's all we can change the uh, faces in both of these devices just by pressing it we can change the face and put whatever we want I'm going to let the default one so same as the Lampho we have faces here in the Mi Watch as well we have the option to add more I'm letting the default one for now maybe I change it in the future so the LAM 11 we have here as you saw on the first page these options up we have the taskbar with some information about uh, date, time, uh, day the percentage of battery, Bluetooth and SIM card sign in the right we have some shortcuts as you can see we have uh, do not disturb brightness airplane mode, Bluetooth, mobile, mobile data location uh, Wi-Fi cleaner, music control and weather in the left we have notifications down we have the average sport mode we can see here some uh, data about sport that we did uh, in the last week we have steps, kilometers and burn calories in the right we have the menu here in menu we have all the options and the app that we have in this watch as you can see we have contacts, phone, messages, settings, browser, download, calendar, clock, camera, gallery, music sound record, file manager, hard rate monitoring, fitness, weather, voice search, play store, map, assistant, app store, youtube and system 
optimization. You can see how many apps that we have here in the LAM 11, but honestly, the Mi Watch as well has some uh, wonderful apps. Let's hope that one day Xiaomi decide to release an update only in all in English that will help us to use all these apps and options that we have in the Mi Watch. Let's go ahead test some of these options that we saw. Let's see how they perform. Are they uh, good or not? We will uh, discuss in the end of this video. Now we can see clearly how it fits in my hand. As you can see, it's very comfortable. It sits really good and it's go. it goes with every clothes that you wear. I start wearing the Mi Watch and honestly, it it is really good. Let's go here to the heart rate. As you can see, if you don't know one finger from your wrist, you have to push your watch. Press. I don't know either what I'm pressing. And as you can see, the measuring just started. And we have a result, as you can see, 94, 95, it's going around there. We have a result in the Mi Watch. From heart rate, let's jump to the sport mode, as you can see we have running cycling walking let's go for for running we have a three second countdown and now as you can see the gps is activated in the top here and also we have the seconds heart rate here we have uh, some uh, options and information here as well maybe one of them is pace or kilometers and distance but they are unfortunately all in Chinese and I can understand it let's finish this and go to another task that we can do and maybe there isn't one so we have done some tests we saw some results and we know that me watch it works but for the this language is fault of Xiaomi that doesn't release an update all in English let's go now and test the LAM 11 let's see how it will perform do we have a difference between these watches and we will see in the end of this video now we have here the LAM 11 as you can see the LAM 11 is a bit thicker than the Mi Watch but again it doesn't bother me it sits good and it looks good so let's go to the menu find here we have the first one hard rate go further than the wrist and start the measurement And the result, as you can see, is similar with the Mi Watch. 
so we know both of these devices works perfectly good now we have fitness and the fitness the first uh, option is outdoor run press go and as you can see immediately without any countdown or something the seconds are going kilometers heart rate and burn calories here down we have the kilometers per hour and the miles per hour or minutes per hour I don't know let's press finish so we know both of these the watches work works really good in the uh, lemon level we have Google Maps as well so we can see the map in the Mi Watch we have a map but it's only it's only China I think and it doesn't work in my country and also we have here YouTube that we can test it right now as you can see we found uh, non copyright music and let's play it see how well YouTube performing this smartwatch and let's hear the sound yours And now the song is over. We can we can see that and confirm that YouTube works really good. It has a great sound. Not the best and not the loudest from smartwatch world, but it will work. So guys, we've come to the end of this video and we saw the performance of both of these devices we saw the option we test them and we see that both of these devices are worth to buy and we know that now the xiaomi for example doesn't have a camera and the lampo lam 11 has one even though it's a small one and not the best but it has a camera that you can use it has a play store that you can download stuff you can connect the LAM11 immediately with the app the Xiaomi Mi Watch takes a bit of your time to connect it but when you connect you can use it the screen I think in the Xiaomi Mi watch is better than in the LAM11 also the shape and design of Mi watch is better it's thinner and it's more practical for you to wear it every day and the outside look I think the Xiaomi Mi watch is better but from if we look at the software the option and the result that we got uh, I think the Lamp for Lamp 11 wins the server. So guys this was all for today's video in Xiaomi Mi Watch versus Lamp for Lamp 11. If you have any questions or suggestions feel free to comment down below and we will try to reply to you all. If you have something to ask us comment down below and leave a comment right now what you think about Xiaomi Mi Watch and about the Lam for Lam 11 this was all thank you very much for your time and attention hit the like button subscribe our channel keep supporting us and we will see you in the next video